Black Mirror Season 1 aired in 2011 and was created by Charlie Brooker. This show is basically a bunch of series of stories about the future of tech and how they could impact us both positively and mostly negatively. And this show has always intrigued me honestly, mostly because I've always been interested in technology and I've always wondered what would happen in the future when we blur the line between reality and technology, like what consequences could happen and a lot of other movies and stuff have explored this concept so i was really interested on seeing how black mirror would do it with a specific style of format and that's why i really got into this whole show so let's get into what i think so starting with the story i would just like to say i like how each episode had its own sort of message in what it tried to convey that's something unique only this show can do with its um, kind of like anthropology sort of format and i definitely like how they took advantage of it of course you can make the exception that episode one didn't really do that the other ones did but even then i still feel like this overall sh show is pretty good and one thing i do have to mention is that episode one was crazy despite it not really being connected to everything else it was a really great pilot to hook me on and just made me so frustrated when watching the series when watching the series so good on them but then again the pilot although it was really crazy and really cool i don't think it really fits in line with the theme of the show and the technology the stuff that they're talking about so even though i love it so much and i but i have i hate to say this but they definitely have could have changed that to make it a bit more relatable and I really like how um, each story was conveyed in a personal matter. They conveyed it not really in sort of like government versus government or government versus alien sort of thing. It's like people and what people's everyday lives are going to look like. And I find that that was really effective because us people, we aren't, you know, big officials who have commands and connections to powerful people. We're just normal people living our lives. So it makes it a much more relatable and makes the message come off even clearer. And speaking of themes, like I mentioned before, the theme of tech, technology, it's a theme that's not really explored too much. Most themes are usually personal, you know, themes of finding yourself and whatnot. But I really like how they fully explored through the, um, the show. But that being said, I still feel like the show is really short. It's only three episodes long, and I know the later seasons do get longer. But they could have definitely at least added like five episodes in the first season. It would have made it a lot more impactful and just honestly made me remember a lot more because aside from the first episode, I don't really remember too much from this show. It was it mostly just came and went like, oh, that's interesting. And then, you know, move on with your life. Starting with the characters, they don't really have that much of a development in their stories and i mean that's a given you only have like 40 minutes per story to develop all their things and whatnot so i guess that makes sense but still despite that i feel like they still did a lot of time a lot a lot of development in such little time i feel like they definitely made a lot of the characters like the one they really wanted to make us remember they definitely got that across i think my favorite would, would probably be liam in episode three i think he was just super relatable and his paranoia and his acting just really sold everything for me Aside from him, the rest of the side characters, like all the things, all the people who aren't the protagonist are really forgettable. They don't really have much there. They're just there to forward the story. So they could have definitely expanded on these characters a little more. And I wouldn't have mind if this, each episode was a little longer just so they could do that because I definitely would have wanted to see that. I also really like how the antagonist of the, each story is not really that clear. And by antagonist, I don't really mean, you know, like in a liter literature sort of way. I mean, like in who's the big villain sometimes you think is it the people there in front of you or is it a larger corporation or a larger movement like a government law or something so i really like how it makes you question just who exactly is at fault here for what goes wrong in each episode but honestly i just think each character just really needs more depth and um each episode just should have been longer hey i wouldn't have minded if each story took up two episodes as a part one and part two that would have allowed them to spend some more time so there you go So onto the visuals, the cinematography in this uh, whole show is actually honestly pretty good. There's a lot of beautiful shots that really capture the scene and whatnot. And it also captures the atmosphere. Can, you can definitely feel the tension in some of the shots or some of the stillness or some of the fear in some of the shots as well. And I also really like how they were able to change up 
each shot and the shot composition per episode like it's like for the first episode it's not very personal it's more about the government leaders and whatnot so the shots look a lot more confident and a lot more uh professional while in the other episodes where it's about individual people it looks a lot more messy like amateurish so i really like how they were able to convey the different feelings through that but honestly i also gotta mention the vfx i think that was also well used they don't really use the vfx too often here most of the stuff here is practical or applied whenever they do i think it was pretty good and that i have to just congratulate that because for a show that's going to be about tech you should definitely have some good um effects used so they definitely did pull that off so on to the soundtrack there's not much to there's not much to say here. It's mostly basic, like every other thing. I really would have wished they had used some more, I guess, like in tone soundtrack that's more like sci-fi-ish. But oh well. I did like the episode two theme though. I really, I think they did that really well. Definitely conveys the message of that story. Well, not the message. It definitely conveys the atmosphere of that story. And I also really like how some of the tracks also have the sense of uneasiness. It really makes you feel on edge and builds attention. I think that was pretty. Uh, well used and honestly i also think that it's just missing an iconic track there isn't really anything memorable that you can remember this like there's no opening in the show there's no like ending theme that's usually what most people remember stuff by but yeah if they could have at least included one iconic like, black mirror track that they use for it like every other episode that would have been pretty cool so yeah in the end mostly basic a few good things here and there So in conclusion, my pros, I think it conveys the message really clearly, the characters do what's needed, the cinematography is great, and the soundtrack really sets the atmosphere. In terms of cons, the show is just too short, it doesn't really have that much of a long lasting impact. The characters honestly need more depth and there's no iconic tracks to be found. And this leads me to a final score of a 7 out of 10. Black Mirror displays a chilling alternate reality, not only with the dangers of technology, but how it is all just a mere reflection of our current lifestyle and habits. It really makes you wonder if this is just a possible future or already our reality. Thanks for watching.